The organizers of the Olympics have issued an apology following Friday's offensive banquet scene, which is said to have resembled the Last Supper. Many suggested that the performers, Nikki Dahl and other stars of the Drag Race France show, were mockingly recreating the Leonardo da Vinci painting of the well-known biblical scene. The Catholic Church in France condemned the scenes for including scenes of derision and mockery of Christianity, which we deeply deplore, while furious fans suggested that this year's show would be the lowest rated ever due to the stunt. Now, during a press conference held today, organizer Anne de Camps was forced to address the public reaction to the ceremony. She stated, Clearly there was never an intention to show disrespect to any religious group. On the contrary, I think Thomas Jolly did try to intend to celebrate community tolerance. We believe this ambition was achieved. If people have taken any offense, we of course are really sorry. However, Nikki Dahl, whose real name is Carl Sanchez, appeared to be unrepentant, admitting on Instagram to ruffling feathers but defiantly declaring, We ain't going anywhere. The apology comes after billionaire entrepreneur and owner of Tesla, SpaceX and Twitter, Elon Musk, blasted it as extremely disrespectful to Christians. Catholic Bishop Robert Barron joined in the condemnation after seeing the gross mockery on television. France felt evidently as it's trying to put its best cultural foot forward, that the right thing to do is to mock this very central moment in Christianity where Jesus at his Last Supper gives his body and blood in anticipation of the cross, he wrote. In a passionate war cry against the enemies, he added, We Christians, Catholics, should not be sheepish. We should resist, we should make our voices heard. However, under French law, blasphemy is not illegal, and the ceremony's artistic director, Thomas Jolly, doubled down after the event. In France, people are free to love how they please, are free to love whoever they want, are free to believe or not believe, he insisted. French actor and singer Philippe Catherine had also joined in with the scene, channeling Greek god of wine Dionysus as Jesus and his twelve apostles were depicted sharing their final meal before the crucifixion. The ceremony also included other unusual sights, including headless Marie Antoinette's performing, You are a disgrace. Shame on you, one viewer tweeted online, while another declared the scene woke and the most absurd and demented virtue signaling. As fans insisted they had switched off the TV in indignation, one quizzed, We're really wondering if this is related to the Olympics and what message or reflection it's supposed to convey.